Greetings everyone and welcome to this video on obtaining initial results for a meta-analysis in JAS. After calculating the effect sizes and standard errors of the effect size, we are now ready to perform a meta-analysis. Upon uploading our CKC file into JAS, we should have something that looks like this. By default, the meta-analysis module is not installed in JAS, so you may have to add it yourself by clicking on the plus icon in the top right corner of the screen and checking the box next to the option that reads meta-analysis. Upon scrolling, we can see that the meta-analysis option has appeared and we can now proceed to select the classical version of the meta-analysis. We will now proceed to put the variables into their respective boxes and now we have two options performing a fixed effects meta-analysis or performing a random effects meta-analysis. A fixed effect meta-analysis assumes that all of the studies included in the meta-analysis share a common true effect size that is a fixed effect so to speak and assumes that each study in the meta-analysis is measuring the same outcome. The only difference between the studies lies in the sampling error. However, even on superficial inspection, we can easily recognize that in the real world, both of these assumptions do not hold true. The effect sizes are most often not similar. In such an instance, a meta-analytic technique which takes into account the variability in the studies is most appropriate. This is where the random effects meta-analysis comes into play. The assumption that all the studies are measuring the same overall true effect remains the same. However, the actual effect sizes differ between studies due to sampling error and meaningful between study differences. The random effects meta-analysis usually results in a more conservative estimate of the overall effect size. That is, you get wider confidence intervals than a fixed effects analysis. In this case, we can select any option other than the fixed effects option in the drop-down menu, but to perform a, a random effects meta-analysis, but JASP uses the restricted maximum likelihood option as the default. Now in the statistics drop-down option, we will check the confidence intervals checkbox, the forest plot, the funnel plot, the rank test and the regression test for funnel plot asymmetry. In the diagnostics option, we will select the fail safe n option as well as the trim fill analysis option. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.